Hello chess friends and welcome to another game analysis. Here I have game played by one of my subscribers which nickname is uh, Chess Math Nerd. He played the games against uh, Mr. Foynoir on the Lee Chess. And the game starts with the move e4, d5. So this is the Scandinavian. e captures d5, queen captures d5 and knight to c3. So this is the main line and we can see that the queen is under attack so black can choose between three squares so queen a5 queen d6 and queen d8 these three moves are the best in this position so queen a5 was played in this game and here we have d4 c6 and that is still the main line but here white developed bishop from f1 to d3 that is a good move but not the main line main line says you that you can go with the knight on f3 or with the bishop to c4 but in this game um, white wants to surprise his opponent with the move bishop d3 and after that we have bishop to f5 over it bishop for trade and queen f3 one not typical move for this position because it also looks good if white developed knight on f3 he is not forced to trade the bishops immediately, so he can just casually develop knight on the f3. But after queen d3 he played, uh, we have e6. And uh, that is a good position for the white, because he can capture on f5 with his bishop. Let's say that line, bishop capture on f5, queen capture f5, and after queen capture f5, e capture, and knight f3. Black is playing with the two double pawns on a f file and uh, he's uh, very quick with the castle he can develop the bishop from a c1 somewhere for example on f4 and this position is very good for him but uh, in this position after the move e6 uh, white wants to play a sharp game and he played the move b4 uh, that pawn attacks the queen but it's very important to recognize that the b pawn is not defended so black could take that so he can take with the bishop for example bishop takes on a b4 which is a very strong move uh, he attacks the knight and which is pinned on that diagonal and that would be a check to king and the rook is under attack so many bad things can happen after that so here the best solution for white is to move the king from that diagonal and uh, left the piece on the square c3 when bishop takes then play rook to b1 and maybe bishop takes d4 which is a very very good position for black but uh, he didn't capture on the b4 he wants to save the queen and goes back with the queen on a d8 after that we have bishop capture on f5 pawn capture f5 and then queen gives a check on e3 so it's a check to king and uh, the best move here is to move the bishop and put him in, in front of the king on e7 which is also developing move and he's preparing for a castle so with the next move he can go with the knight on f6 and make the castle but after queen e3 check he developed the knight on the square e7 which uh, completely locks the bishop on c8 so white play a3 defend the pawn on b4 after that we have g6 with the idea develop bishop on g7 and queen e5 attacks the rook which cannot be defended so the rook needs to go somewhere so the only free square is a g8 and bishop goes to g5 make more pressure on the knight on e7 so we have knight d7 attacks the queen queen goes back on e3 and after that knight goes to b6 a very good maneuver uh, for a knight from square b8 to d7 and after that to b6 he threatened to continue with the knight on a d5 which is a very good position for a black knight but you know, white wants to increase the pressure in the center and he makes the long castle putting the rook on a d file and maybe preparing for some d5 or, or move the rook on the e1 and here we have knight to c4 attacks the queen and attacks the pawn on a3 so queen goes down to a2 to e2 sorry and after that we have uh, h6 uh, which attacks the bishop so bishop capture on e7 bishop capture e7 and then rook e1 so it is a really big pressure pleasure here on the e7 so we have king to d7 and after that queen capture on c4 so now white is a piece up so he's playing with the two knights against the bishop and bishop goes to g5 so king to b1 
and then rook to e8 offer rooks for trade that was not a good idea for black he wants to reduce material but uh, he's a weak side in this game so queen capture f7 that it is a check to king so bishop goes back to e7 to save the king after that queen can take all of these pawns on the king side so queen just start that job and capture on the g6 also threat to capture on f5 with the check or threat on h6 so we have king to c7 and tries to run away from the from the checks but knight comes in the game knight f3 very good move white need more pieces uh, in this attack so uh, we have a5 right now this is the last chance for a black to do something in this game so he needs to open the a file or try to make more pressure on the white king so queen to g3 was played and after that bishop d6 blocks the check so rook capture e8 uh, one very interesting move he left the queen on the square g3 but he also attacks the opponent's queen on the square d8 so we have queen capture on e8 and queen g7 check so king to b6 after that queen capture on h6 and bishop to c7 so rook to e1 bring the rook into the game so very good way to activate the rook move the rook on the open file and after that queen to f7 was played so we have rook to e6 so rook threat some strong attack on the c6 with the future move d5 but here black capture on b4, a capture on b4 and the idea for black was to attack the queen so he moves the bishop on the square f4 uh, this idea looks interesting because he wants to make pressure on the queen on square h6 and wants to provoke the queen to capture the bishop on the square f4 so if the queen capture on f4 the rook on e6 is hanging so queen can take it but that did not happen in the game because white recognized that the position of the king on b6 is not very good and he can give a check with the knight from c3 to d5 it is a check to king and the bishop on f4 is hanging black is unable to capture on a d5 because that will open the check from the rook so he need to move the king and he play with the king on b5 so knight capture on f4 and after that king capture b4 and you have knight d3 which is a check so we are only looking for the way how to give a mate to black king because this is a very bad position of the black king so queen f6 offer queens for trade queen c7 we have queen to e7 threat to mate here on a b4 because knight is supporting b4 and after queen b6 we have knight to b2 it's a, it's a check so king goes to a5 and after that queen a3 and the last move that the black play was king to b5 so in this position white missed the mate in one which is the c4 and king has no moves to go but he played queen to b3 and that was the last move after that he resigned anyway he, he, white will win this position in so many ways so uh, it is clear that uh, black is completely lost in this game uh, Thank you for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed and see you in the next subscriber uh, games analysis. Bye bye.